Hello, I'm Sophia Buckingham. Uh, I've been working here on fluid dynamics problems mostly related to energy. One of the uh, major challenges we're facing worldwide is to meet the growing needs in terms of energy and um, we're now moving faster towards a clean energy transition and for um, nuclear power to be part of this um, energy mix it is essential to make significant progress in terms of sustainability and uh, safety. The Mira research reactor that is being designed by SCKCN is meant to study the transmutation of nuclear waste and to contribute to the development of lead fast reactors that should prove to be safer and able to considerably reduce the waste legacy. To investigate safety aspects, numerical tools are indispensable. They help us predict the thermohydraulic field inside the reactor pool. In the case of Mira, lead bismuth detecting is used as coolant. One can benefit from the high thermal conductivity offered by liquid metals to efficiently transport the heat. It is however fundamental to ensure that these predictions are reliable and so the objective here has been to generate, experimentally, reference data to be compared with corresponding simulations in order to validate our numerical tools. The Mirte wind tunnel has been built especially for measuring the flow over simple geometries representative of the coolant's behavior inside the reactor. Here, laser techniques have been applied to characterize the flow field over a backward-facing step. The facility has been designed to be completely sealed in order to test with a helium xenon gas mixture that has thermal properties as close as we can get to liquid metals for a transparent medium. What we want to measure are velocity and temperature fluctuations, since by correlating these, one can determine the heat transfer that can induce thermal stresses and directly impacts the structural integrity of the reactor components. This probe combines two sensors so that both quantities can be measured at the same time. Once validated in helium xenon, the numerical simulations could be used to extend the database to liquid metals. Analyzing the differences between fluids enables to improve our physical understanding of the heat transfer in liquid metals in which larger thermal structures appear and heat is transported further away due to significant molecular effects known as thermal conduction. As an outcome, the obtained experimental and numerical data can now be used to construct affordable numerical models that can reliably simulate the complete reactor to help in the design of future generation reactors.